Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are starting a brand new series here on my channel and it is called Foundation Fridays. Um, once a month, I will be trying a brand new foundation with you and doing wear tests and all that with the foundation that I use. And this month, the first foundation that I'm trying is the Morphe Soft Focus Foundation. And I'm going to be applying it with you, um, but this is our first Foundation Friday. So if you would like to see my thoughts on this foundation, keep watching. Like I said in the intro, um, I did a small little haul from Ulta and we are going to go through it and there is some things in here that I am going to use with you. So if you'd like. Um, I went to Ulta to get a couple things that I needed and I'd been wanting to try out. Unfortunately, they were sold out of the foundation that I wanted to get. Um, we are going to try a new foundation today. Um, so let's just go through this bag and get the stuff out. I did not color correct because I wanted to see how well the foundation, you know, so let's get to it. So the first thing I got is the Makeup Mist and Set by e.l.f. I, I wanted something cheap that I could use on my little uh, Yeo Twin. And um, I also got the Kiss... Um, Lash Glue Liner. Someone told me about that, so I'm going to try that out. And I also got the Epic Liner, the MIX Epic Liner. I picked um, that up. I got this Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I've been wanting to try this for a very long time, so I got that. And I got the color Warm Light. And as you know, we cannot color match uh, anymore uh, because of uh, Miss Rona. So, and then I was not able to go up there on my birthday. So they gave me um, this for my birthday. It is the Lancome Idol um, Mascara and the Perfume. And I have already sprayed the perfume and it smells wonderful. And then I also picked up the Pure Essence uh, Highlighter in Nude. Miss Joey Riddle told me about this. And I did pick up the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. So that is what we are going to use today. Today starts the Foundation Friday. So we are going to use this together. So I am going to go through and put some of this stuff on my face and we're going to, so I'm starting out with the Pixie um, Brightening Protector and the Luminizing uh, Pore, the Luminizing uh, Primer by Dr. Brandt. Now I'll go on with the Pixie and I use very little because a little goes a long way. I like to put a little bit more in the places that I highlight because as you can see, it does give you a um, very brightening look. So even if I don't use highlighter, it still gives me a brighter appearance. In and use this foundation and I'm also not going to set my face like I normally do. So we're just trying this foundation to see what it does. This was $20. It comes like this. Um, so we're going to try her out. And I am going to go in with my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. And I am now an affiliate with Stands Out. So I will leave a link below in the description box. I hope this f matches me. Thank you. 
So I can still see the redness on my face, so I would still need to cover that. But it did cover it up pretty decent. And I probably won't do a wear test because it's very late at night. But I will do one at a later date. So on the color, it actually, I actually matched myself pretty darn good. Once I get my bronzer and stuff on, it should be perfect. I do want to go in with one more. I'm going to use, a, I just put like a half a squirt. I'm going to go in with my brush real fast and just see if I can build that up on my cheek. And I'm just going to pat it. See if I can build it. That did pretty good. So it is buildable. Next time I use it, I will go in and do my color correction. Color correcting. Okay, next we are going to go in with this. Actually, I'm so good at matching foundation, guys. I was a little worried, but I'm really good at matching foundation. Just by looking at so it. This is the Instant Age Rewind um, Correcting Corrector. So you just turn it. I have seen so many people use this concealer. There we go. So after you keep turning, it will come up. Now I did try the Milani concealer and I like it a lot, but the only thing I don't like about it is the way it uh, comes. I'll show you. I like the way it looks and feels on the skin, um, but it does it's kind of like the, if you ever use the e.l.f. camo concealer, you probably will know what I'm talking about when I say um, it builds up up inside of the cap and starts to come out on the sides. It just, I don't like that. So it's not started doing it really bad right now, but it builds up on the inside of this and then it gets all over this and it has a really strong scent to it kind of like a I'm not saying that's what's in it guys but it has a very strong scent I don't know what that scent is so let's see how that does I wish that it was just a little bit lighter and then I'm going to go in with my number seven powder I'm going to go in with the Ace Beauté um, bronzer palette and I'm going into this first color right here and then I'm going to go in with the elf bronzer in forever sunkissed with my complex culture bronzer brush go in with the uh, always hazy blush by elf You can see that where I put that uh, brightening perfector on, it's already brightening up my face. That pixie is so good. Think about this foundation. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, now we are going to, I am going to jump off here and do an eye look and then I will be back to finish uh, my thoughts for this foundation. Just first thoughts so I'll be right back okay guys now I am back I have finished my eye look um, and I really like this foundation I did not think that I would like it um, but I wanted to give it a try because it is the newest thing on the market um, for the more yes. I do like I will do the color correcting 
um, next time I wear this foundation. But, I mean, it is a really pretty foundation. So what do you guys think, now that I have on the rest of my face products, about the coverage of this foundation how does it look on camera um, let me know in the comments have you tried the foundation yet tried it what do you think about it um, and I am going to use this eyeliner with you guys now I already have an eyeliner on um, but I'm going to put this one on with you. I'm going to throw on a pair of lashes. And I'm going to go in with my Glam Light Donut Lashes. These are my absolute favorite lashes from Glam Light. I love them all, but these are the ones that I go for more. And we are going to go in with the Kiss Liner Lash thing. And I am just going to go over my other liner. Um, and something that I have noticed is a lot of um, other brands are coming out with this kind of liner. I'm not going to go over my burgundy liner because I have to take a picture. Um, it doesn't say on there to let it dry, so I'm just going to see if it goes right on. I've been having wonky lashes lately, so I hope this stuff works because I really hate using glue. They're on. I love these lashes. So, um, like I said, let me know. Um, in the comments if you bought the Morphe foundation what you think of my foundation um, I think it looks really good I like it and uh, are you excited about foundation Fridays I have been thinking and thinking of things that I could come up with and I want to start trying different foundations and I actually have a few that I need to go through and do a wear test with you guys and you know, I wear them, I take pictures in them, but I never really do this type of video. So I thought this would be something fun that um, you all could, every time there's a new foundation that I find out about, I'm going to get it. Um, and we're gonna do a Foundation Friday on it. If there's any foundations that you would like to know about, if they're, they dropped, and they're fairly new and you want to know about them please leave them in the comments and i will try my best to get my hands on them and uh yeah guys uh so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss a beat and i will see you in the next one stay blessed